Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm going to paint this concrete leaf up and we're going to go for kind of a red autumn-y look or fall look. Um, I've underpainted the uh, leaf with a mixture of black and orange paint to give a kind of <coughs> brown base. Um, I use I use the black with the orange because I've run out of brown paint or burnt umber. So um, yeah, we we were speaking on the boards about um, autumnal leaves. I was speaking to Lahav about. I wasn't very happy about these leaf casts. Um, there's another one in the other room. Um, but I was gonna because I was I made these leaves in view of uh, moulding up, and um, we'll see how they turn out. And if they turn out okay with a paint job, then I'll uh, proceed and make some latex moulds from them. So um, I'm gonna paint this leaf in a red autumny colour, like I said earlier. Um, also, there is a there's a video on the channel on how to undercoat these um, concrete leaves and concrete statuary. Uh, it's pretty straightforward anyway, you just uh, water down the acrylic paint so it's fluid and it absorbs into the uh, concrete. So put one, two, th maybe two or three coats of that uh, watered down acrylic onto your item and then you're ready after that to uh, dry brush some layers on. So in this uh, on this leaf um, I'm going to start off with a base colour of or a base layer, doesn't really make any sense really, um, a layer of uh, red paint so this is uh, cadmium red acrylic paint and uh, same as always Put your paint either in the tray, I'm going to put my paint in the tray here because it's filled up with other uh, paint colours and all mixed together so it's a bit mushy. So I put some paint here on an old tea towel, you can see that. And um, so like as we do with the dry brushing technique, put some paint on your brush, wipe a load off into your towel or card and build up some layers over the top of the leaf. So I'll paint a few layers of uh, red onto this leaf surface and that should give us a nice colour to use as reference to use other colours such as orange, uh, oranges, browns, maybe some yellow and we'll see how it turns out. Right, so there's a first layer down, a layer of red. Um, I'm feeling lazy and impatient, so I'm going to run a hair dryer over the top of that, uh, speed, up, speed up the drying process, and then we'll apply another layer of um, red over the top of that. Okay, so that's pretty dry, so uh, we'll go for the second dusting of red. Right, so there's a couple of coats of red down. Let me just uh, zoom in. I'll just sort of turn the viewfinder around. So there we are, you can see where we're at at this stage. So the next stage, we'll uh, put some orange acrylic paint and uh, dry brush that in certain areas of the leaf. Okay, so here goes with the orange. Okay, so there's that orange layer 
put down. I just put that in certain places. I tried to keep close to the veins to kind of uh, sort of emulate uh, maybe a little bit of life still coming from the the um, veins of the leaf. Right, so now um, I'm going to put some yellow down and we'll do the same again and we'll use the yellow um, more sparingly. We'll just kind of highlight areas of the leaf in the same way as we did with the orange but uh, not as much. So there we are, there it is with the yellow down, um, I'll, close, uh, I'll take a close up here as well. So there we are, that's where we're at at this moment. Um, I want to put some more red in there, so I'm going to put some more red um, around the edges of the leaf. That's where we're at at this stage and what I'm going to do now is uh, put just a thin um, strip of paint around the edge of the leaf so that's going to be sort of a dark brown colour. So I saw this um, Gris Le Havre and Carve of painted leaves that's at uh, DIYMoles.com and they painted just a small edging or thin edging around the leaf which I thought was a very good effect. So it's going to be the first time I try this. So cheers, Gris, the Hav and Carve. Okay, here goes. I'm going to use a small paintbrush for this as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, I touched up the veins with a bit of dark colour. and uh, So yeah, that's the edges done. And I think I'll leave it at that. Um, so it's sort of like a nice red, the touch of orange, and those almost like sort of charcoal edges. So I'll uh, focus in, and there it is. So I'm quite happy with that. Nice autumnal red. So the colours are coming out there. There's little tails. Little Astro Cat. Are you doing Astro Cat? Maybe. So there it is. I just turned up the camera light so I hope those colours are coming out. Just focus in there. Cat. She's had a hard day. You had a hard day, Tills? Eh? He's sleeping away then. I'm getting the lie open, isn't he? Mm. Oh, darling. Thanks for watching, and over out. You gonna say bye, Tills? Bye. Meow. <laughs>